Hey guys, I just want to let you all know that I'm doing a Q&A to celebrate 2.5 thousand subscribers. So if you want me to answer you guys' questions, leave it down in the comment section of this video and a couple more videos that are coming out as well. So yeah, I just want to let you guys know that and let's get back to the video. What's up everyone, Full Animix here. Welcome back to the Underrated Gem series. Yes, I've actually made this a series now, great. On this week's episode, I'm going to be talking about one of the most underrated shows I've seen in my life. The show in question is Astro Lost in Space. If there was ever a definition of the word underrated, this is the show. This is mainly due to the fact that Dr. Stone, Fire Force, Vinland Saga, Dan Marchi Season 2, and MILF Isekai came out at the same time as Astra. Now I know that last one may be questionable, but there was a lot of good shows back in 2019. Sometimes we miss out on shooting stars, and it's my duty to tell you about them. See what I did there? Because the show's about space. Anyways, without further ado and without more procrastinating, let's talk about Astro Lost in Space. A group of thick and unique teens are off for space camp. When they arrive, an orb suddenly appears, teleporting them to the far reaches of space. Luckily, a ship just so happens to be orbiting them, and thus begins this fun and mysterious space adventure. Now, space isn't anything new in anime. You have shows like Cowboy Bebop, Space Dandy, and series like Macross and Gundam. Space is isn't an unexplored genre in anime. But nowadays, the space genre has become kind of stale, probably because Trigger can't end a show without it ending in space. My point being is that space hasn't really been cool for a while, and I started to get bored of the whole concept of space and its basic use of the unknown. And then Astra came out, so now my point is invalid. Cool. The show starts off with a basic premise and basic characters. You have Shonen protagonist, Shoujo protagonist, Glasses Boy, Glasses Girl, Edgy boy, Sundere girl, a lolly for you sick fucks, and both. Yes both. While I didn't like the characters at first, it didn't really stop me from watching the show. As more episodes came out, the more invested I was in the story. Each episode made me ask more questions, and the dread of not knowing what was going to happen left me in anguish of wanting more. I couldn't stop watching it, and I started liking and understanding the characters. The mystery got more and more intense, until suddenly the show finishes. I sit down and think to myself for a while, unable to comprehend what happened. I told myself that I would never let it happen again, but I had to face facts. I came to the conclusion that once again, a show has hooked me without trying to hook me. Now the actual hook that reels you into the show happens around episode 5, but I was on board from like episode 3, so I'm just built different apparently. <laughs> I won't spoil too much of the show, but it really picks up after episode 5 thanks to the show's change of pace. The pacing of the show is unique. The first and last episodes are an hour long despite it being 50 minutes, but whatever. And the first 5 episodes are as generic as it can be. There's a goddamn beach episode for fuck's sake. But it's in this beach episode that the show changes. Before the story seemed to be progressing at a good pace and was on track with revealing the traitor. Then suddenly the show starts adding more plot lines and twists that come out of nowhere, and it somehow works. At the start of episode 5, the parents of our characters are discussing their kid's disappearance, and Arius's mum is freaking out about what to do and how to find them. But the other parents don't seem to be that worried about their kids. Now you may think that maybe the parents are just confident that their kids are all fine because they're all unique and special. But as the parents talk about the situation and their kids, it comes off as them not even caring about them. This is just a small detail that tells the audience that something is off, and as the show progresses, these small details start building up and becoming the new plot for the rest of the show. This is a great way of adding more onto a story that doesn't need it. You could probably still have a show that's just about the traitor, but adding these plot lines that end up overlapping, the ending feels complete and thought about, not over the top and cluttered. A lot of shows try to do this and it almost never works, but with Astra, it works pretty well. The characters in this show are meh. I said before that I didn't like the characters, they seemed one dimensional and not really original, but as the show went on I started to like the characters, and I can't tell you why. <laughs> 
There's like nine mainish characters that we follow on this journey, and in each episode we focus on one or more characters, whether it be a backstory or character development or both. But this isn't new, tons of anime do this with a huge cast of characters. So how does Astra differ? I don't know. <laughs> and the script has some really weird funny moments that ruin the tone of the scene, which makes me not like the characters even more. So then why do I like the characters? I have no idea. I don't know guys, by all accounts, I should not like these characters, but for some reason whenever I see them do something smart, wholesome, cool, or even make me laugh, I can't help but say, damn, this show is cool as fuck. <laughs> now you guys may not end up liking them, but for me, I thought they were pretty good. Overall, the show subverted my expectations when I first watched it. I thought the show was the most criminally underrated show I've seen in my life, and I still think it is. I highly recommend this show if you want something to get invested in and something that you want to cry over after finding out that there's only 12 episodes. But if you do end up watching the show, I can guarantee that you'll be in for a ride. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe down below, and I'll talk to you guys later.